here we want to see if we can find a minimum cost. They give us this cost equation, unit cost. And notice the big thing about this is it has a squared. So that means it's quadratic. And when I graph it, it'll look like a parabola. Now this one I can tell it opens up because it's positive out front. But think kind of regardless of which way a parabola opens, determines whether or not the point you're looking for is going to be a maximum point or a minimum point. So this one opens up, that point's a minimum. Now notice if we're looking at the picture of that, what that point is, is we're looking for the vertex. So if they ask for the maximum or minimum of a quadratic, they're really asking for the vertex. The easiest way to find the vertex is to remember that the x value of the vertex is always at negative b over 2a. So if I have this in my right form, I can say what's a and what's b and just put them in here. And so b is negative 280. So I get negative, negative 280, which notice the negatives are going to cancel. And then all over 2 times a, which is 0.4. And so 280 divided by 0.8 gives me 350. And so picture what I know about this point then is the x value is at 350. Well, how can I figure out the y value? Because be careful, 350 isn't the answer. They want the minimum cost. This is telling me what x, what number of units I have to make to get that minimum cost. So let me just put 350 into our actual equation. And depending if your equation you know, has decimals and stuff, probably just as quick to do that in the calculator. So once you find the x value of the, ver the vertex, just plug that into your equation. So 0.4 times 350 squared minus 280 times 350. So just putting 350 in there for x plus this 61,000 number. And so it looks like I get 12,977 for the cost at that point. So this is x and this is the cost, c of x. So when they want the minimum cost, it's $12,977. This is the amount of units that give me the minimum. So this is where the minimum's at and this is what the minimum actually is.